Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Daniel Stone and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperator Rome playing as the Republic of Athens. So in the last episode we managed to get ourselves in a way better situation. Uh, our manpower is creeping back up. We're pretty much nah, not halfway there but not too far off. Um, and we are technologically speaking speeding through tech. 175% research efficiency could be better and I do want to get it better. Um, so before I start this episode, I do want to do something though that I noticed off camera. Now, if I go onto my economy tab here, and you'll see my fort maintenance, and I hover it over here and you said, okay, Cleoni's got 0.50 per port level, okay, it's got one fort in Cleoni, where's Cleoni again? Need to find out where that is. Um, it is here, okay, so we've got one fort there, which is, um, which um, increases the, um, well, it's basically 0.5 gold per month per fort cost, okay. Uh, we've got one in Argos, which is fine. I think we've got one in Argos, have we? You've yeah, got one in Argos. Um, however, I have noticed that we have got, let's see, um, Thebe is three. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure before the update it was 0.5 just for a fort. Not, um, each fort level did not increase it. So, I think it does, because like, there is two forts will be one gold, okay? Four forts will be two, and six forts will be three. So, I think it's, it's 0.5 per fort level now. I'm pretty sure it wasn't that before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't that. Now, um, that changes quite a few things. So I'm going to get rid of two forts here, though. Because it does cost a fair bit. So I'll leave it at level four fort. At least then it should... Yeah, there we go. See, it's reduced it by one gold. So at least we're getting an extra gold per month, which is going to be very useful. So we'll leave it at a level four fort here. I don't want to, like, kind of... Um, um, how to put it? Keep it as level six fort because it's just going to cost us way too much, um, and especially considering we've got another fort being built there, so that's another extra 0.5, and another fort that's going to go down here, which is an extra 0.5. So I'm thinking that this fort here, I ain't going to bang it on now. We won't bang on the level two fort there. I don't think it's going to be needed. Um, so that's going to save us a bit of cash. I will bang a level two fort here just because it's on the front line and it's quite important. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, so, so yeah, um, should I get rid of this one? I probably should, because you can't come past this way without taking that fort. So that one's pretty useless there, to be honest. So we'll get rid of that fort, which is fine. And I think that's about it. That should save us a little bit of cash. Um, not too much, but it should save us some. Um, should make a little bit more money. We do 4.19. So now that is that sorted. And the next thing I wanted to do is, and I had a little thought and a little look around off camera what we could possibly do. And I was thinking, why not try to entice the Macedonian governor of the region of, let's see what the region is, I think it's um, Greece, I think it is that, the region of Greece, yes. Is he loyal to the Macedon king, or to the king of Macedon? So let's have a look at this guy, so he's here. Do we add this anti patriot and he is so not fucking loyal. So what if I was to inspire this loyalty, get his loyalty down to 35, then could we entice him, because his opinion, his loyalty is lower than 40? And then we might be able to take all that land. And I'm very interested to see if that actually works. He is the primary heir and he's the son. But would it work if it is the case? Does, I mean, would the entire governor thing work even though he is the son and primary heir to the throne? I don't know. Let's give it a try. So I want to inspire this loyalty here. Okay, so this guy is so not loyal. And then let's see... Oh, he needs to be a friend. So let's try and make friends with the guy. How long does this guy have in office? Quite a while. Does he have gold? He has a lot of gold. Let's try and befriend the guy. This might work. I've never done this before. I've never managed to do it. So we'll try and befriend him. Let's see if this actually damn works. So um, yeah, let's um, let's give it a go. Okay. Hopefully it will work. Everyone likes gold. Yeah, I'll pay you gold from Athens State Pockets. That's not a problem. Make an impression. I lose stability. I can lose political influence. I can lose manpower. I'm going to lose the political influence here. We'll make a moderate amount of progress towards befriending him. Hopefully it'll work. I don't know if it is going to work, but if it does, it will be cool. Exotic gifts. Let's get him... I'm not going to get him a tiger. I'll get him... Let's get him a crocodile. Everyone likes a crocodile. I want a crocodile. Hopefully he'll befriend us. Please befriend us. Yes, we are friends with the guy. Damn. So he changed. He swapped guy then. You crafty little bugger. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to befriend the guy before we make the guy disloyal. That's interesting. It was a good try, but I think we could do it next time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on you. Can I stop inspiring disloyalty? 
I've got to wait two years, so we'll wait two years and I'll try it with the next governor. We could probably do it. I'm positive we could do it. We need to give it a go. So um, we'll try it with the next guy. I didn't know you had to befriend the guy first before you could entice him. Well, otherwise, I would have done it that way around. Um, Sheridan of Stratoclid died from natural causes, and you were the leader of the second Stratos. Uh, have I got a good general? I have got you. You're pretty damn good, actually. Yeah, you're pretty okay. And you have loyalty plus five since you're cautious, so uh, let's put you in charge of the army, no problem. I'll put you on drill as well. Try and get that military experience rising, which is quite high, actually. 0.66 per month isn't too bad. I've got a disloyal character. Why? What's your power base? Holdings, loyal veterans, loyal cohorts. Why does he have loyal cohorts? I've not given charge of any men. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll, um... I can't even ostracise you. Fucking hell. 51.2 tyranny to ostracise you, mate. No way. Uh, Gorgos. What's this? Lose, oh, I lose a bit more stability. That's not cool. That is really not cool. We need our stability to rise. Can't have low stability. What's Macedon stability? Really low. Um... Yeah, what we need to do is definitely try and befriend this new guy here, and um, we'll, we'll befriend him when the um, Archon is in power that can actually inspire disloyalty. And hopefully we might be able to do it. I've never done it before, and I really hope we can get it done. Um, so I think we can save up with some buildings, I think. We make 4.23 gold per month. I think we can save up with some extra buildings, maybe, in Thieve, try and get a couple of lives going. Even in uh, Chalkis as well, probably get another... Another building going, another academy or a lib, something like that, we'll, we'll think about it. Uh, Red-handed, so several nights ago, Polemon for Lady was discovered helping himself to a sizable quantity of gold from the National Treasury. This is clearly a serious crime, however there is something to be said for sweeping affairs like this under the carpet. The other Tomosity and you're stealing from me, you prick. Trying to publicly have him flogged. Hmm... Shall I flog you or get the loyalty with you? Let's get the popularity. I'm going to flog you. Nobody steals from me. Nobody steals from me. Uh, Furious Full, Furious Full's ill. So the old geezer here, the old populist Archon is um, ill. He's probably dying. Yeah, he is. He's, he's dying pretty quickly. Um, scientific breakthrough. One of our researchers, Sossi Stratos Stratoclid, thinks he's just about to make a notable scientific breakthrough in the research he's currently working on. All that is needed is some more supplies and funds for the next couple of years. To be able to get his hands on some of these, he's personally asked our Archon Fivias Felede if he can be given access to them. Do I want 85 points in the oratory research category? That is the question. Let's have a look. What's the next level of oratory tech? Now, I'm not, in a, I'm not in a rush to take that. I mean, well, then we would lose minus 35% to the research efficiency, which I don't want. So, yeah, I'm not going to I'm not gonna accept that. I don't like that trade-off. I really don't like that trade-off. What's the next level of military tech? Siege engineers and heavy infantry costs. That's not bad, actually. Could bribe you, but I don't want to bribe you just yet. No, 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 no. We'll wait till... We'll wait till if it doesn't go off by its own, see if it doesn't get any more loyal. If it doesn't, then, oh well, we'll just bribe the guy. Um, free stability for free, thank you, because you're good at your job. Thank you, my friend. Back up to 35. Can I stop inspiring disloyalty with my friend? Not yet, I've got to wait two years still. The two years have not passed yet. We'll probably do it with the next Archon, to be honest. Um, a gift horse. We have long been warned to be suspicious of gifts, especially in the current political climate. However, an interesting proposition has been made by Pelopidas for Lady, leader of the religious faction. So we gain six stability, yes please, and we owe the religious faction a favour, but I want the stability, that's cool. We'll have that. We'll have that, we'll have that. No problem. Um, still you? Yep, still you. Where's all about the governor over here? Is it still the same? Same governor? Let's just go here. It is, still the same governor, he's not very loyal. Um, what's this? Do a decision. Not really, don't need to change that. Um, food is running low in Thebe. Yeah, we could do with some more land there. I think we have too many pops, I think. Which is why that we can't feed them well. We only have one territory in this province, so that's why we can't feed them. Any tech we could go for here? Pop capacity, don't really need that yet. Diplo range. Monthly war exhaustion. Yeah, nothing we really need just yet. Stuff we can live without. Again, the building in Megara. Again, the building in Athens. Ooh. 
Let's go for another live. Enough. Live. We'll get another live in Magara. I think. Oh, look, can we get rid of that temple. I don't need that. What's that doing there? Go away, temple. Don't need that. So we'll get, like, double live, I think, no? Olympic Games. Who do we send? The physician or the son of the head of the Stratoctid family? They're both shit, so none of them are going to win. So I'm just going to send the guy who's not in a position, so I can't be asked to change this guy. Um, so I'll send a Kalinas or Kaleen. Yeah, you can go, mate. Off you go. Off you go. Go and do some uh, Olympic shit. Come back and lose. When's the next election? 1st of October, 5, 10. Two years. So we'll wait for the next election. So yeah, we'll wait for the next election. Olympus concluded. Our guy didn't win. It was uh, Zionis's Conid. 4, 8, 12, 9. It's not brilliant. Just the 12, chari um, the 12 uh, charisma stat though, is doing him pretty well. Oh well. It is what it is. At least our manpower is increasing quite nicely. Um, let's go for... I'll probably get a forum, to be honest. Get some more of them uh, freemen. Do I want another forum? That is the question. Probably not. So I'm going to go for... Live. Let's just get a live. I'll double live up here. Double live up. Try and get some more of that juicy, um, juicy, juicy, juicy research efficiency. We're at 185%. We have a martial advances, which is called more than alpha armies, and we can get access to the siege engineers and heavy infantry costs, which I definitely want. Minor addendum. What's this? So I can either gain six stability for the cost of ten political influence. Yeah, yeah, please. We'll have that. The closer we get to 50, the more stable the realm will be, and we get good bonuses like to commerce income and to research points and all that cool stuff. Now, I don't really need that. We don't really need the manpower recovery speed now. We're quite up there. We're halfway there, Neil. Yeah, about halfway there. So I'm going to go for the um, deity of Athena here, I think, just to give the extra research points. Why not? We should increase our tech speed, I think. Yeah, up to 200% now, which is like alarmingly fast. Could I actually change any deity here? Do we have control of one of the holy sites somewhere? We have the control of this holy site. We do have the passive effect of the global food modifier. Which would actually help Thebe out. What about this one? Hmm. I'm going to keep the morale and discipline. Don't want to change anything else here. No, I'm not going to change that one. Probably this one. I oh, know we already have the global food modifier plus 10%. Is there anything for more food modifier? Well, there's a global food modifier here plus 12.5%. Which would probably get this out of the red. You know what? Let's give it a try. Yeah, let's give it a go. It's good for, and we have the bow yeah, because we have the um, we have the holy site for it, so let's do it. Aha, and there we have ah that's cool. So now we've activated the um, the um, artifacts. So we've got local pot growth and commerce value. What else do I have? Two local pot growth, local citizen happiness. Ooh, this is all let's go for the local pot growth plus ten plus 0 point ten percent deposit. There we go. Okay, that's cool. Now, that should help Thieb out. Please tell me it's helped Thieb out. Surely our plan would work. Oh, no, it's only... Now it just goes down a little bit slower. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We probably need to invest in a trade route then or something. Or just conquer more land off Boeisha. Well, that's going to be really hard. Since we've got to take down Macedon. Uh, calling in favours. So, uh, Stratonikos Hermogenid has approached Furious for Lede in private, reminding him of past favours done for us by the military faction. Um, yeah, why not? You can gain a bit of popularity and promin prominence. I'm not bothered about that. That's pretty fine. Um, wow, why are, you, why are you so not loyal? But you don't have any, like... You know what? The Civil War can fucking fire. It'll give me give me a reason to imprison you. There's, it's like... Yeah, it's, it can fire all it wants. It's not a problem. Uh, Pelopidus for Lyde, we have a new ruler, it's, uh, oh, it's this guy. He's pretty good, actually, 11 finesse, so he's going to give us a lot more money. Now, I don't have much stability, though. Are you still unloyal to the actual consul? You are. Yeah, we're going to have a, we're going to have a pretty big civil war, I think. I don't want to gain 10 tyranny for 20 political influence, do I? 
No, I'm not. I don't want to take any extra tyranny. Um, however, we are... Yeah, I'm going to try and make friends with this guy. And we'll try that entice governor crap again. Um, you're the Archon. You have a lot of money. Have a need a new Agoronimus first. We'll put you in... We'll put a new one in power. And... And Tial... What's this? And Tial Kidas Elixarchid? You're pretty good. Let's put you. You're a pretty good man. Um, you're still pissed. Yeah, we're going to have that civil war firing. I'm not going to ostracize the guy because look at the tyranny cost. It's like fucking insane. Um... Could revoke your holding. No, I'm just gonna let you. Gonna let it fire. I think we only have one guy that's pissed, so it's like, yeah. What are you gonna do? I mean, we have we have this army. We can, we can crush you. We can crush you, my dear friend. Anyway, let's befriend the governor over here. How long has he got to live? Right, let's try and befriend him quickly. Let's make friends. I do want to befriend the guy. Exotic gifts. Oh, I'm gonna go into debt here. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of debt. I want to. I want the. I want to make friends with him. We must make friends with the guy. Making an impression. We're going to lose 15 political influence to make a moderate amount of progress to befriending him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Everyone likes gold. Uh, why is it coming out of Athens and not like the ruler's personal funds? If it's someone from abroad, maybe that might be why. Make a moderate amount. I'm just going to go into debt. I'm not overly bothered about being in debt. So I'm now friends with the guy. Which is good. Um, and I'm going to try and inspire disloyalty with him. Okay. At least one province ruled by this governor. Oh, they must have must less than 50 province loyalty. Well, they didn't tell me that in the bloody tooltip, do they? Yep, they don't tell me that in the tooltip. So it looks like the entire governor thing is pretty impossible to do. But I would have liked for them to tell me about that in the tooltip. Um, religious advances, that's pretty cool. We'll have some of that. Let's just double check about this again. So they've got a new one in position now. So the province must be disloyal. There's no way I can actually do anything to do that. He's got a new ruler in Macedon, though. Oh no, is that the governor of Greece? Who is the new... Wait, they have. They've got a child. Well, sort of a child. He's okay, actually. Um, yeah, it's a shame, that. Is there any way I can... support rebels? I need to be a major power to do that. Oh, well, at least I know I can't entice a governor to join me. A gift from the gods? Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. At least we can actually get some tech out of that. Actually, no, I'll go for the, um... I'll get the buildings first. We'll get the extra buildings that we can get. Can I get one in Magara? I can. I'll get another live here. Just to try and increase our tech ratio up to a maximum. I'll get another one here, maybe. Yes, yeah, get another one there. We'll get as many citizens in here as possible, because we've got earthenware as a local produce, so... Increases our research points. Um, here we'll do the same principle. Um, get a get one of them. Also get an academy as well with it. Should work. Uh, three months the civil war will break out. So we need to be ready for this. Do I have access with you guys? I have access with them. So we can actually move across from one side to the other. So let's get ready for this thing to fire. So at the end of the next month it should fire. Let's slow the game down and get ready for the civil war. So where is the civil war fired? Over here. Alright, so you're going to go all the way down here and try and take everything this side. You're going to go... Oh, they've got the city, are you kidding me? Since when did they get the cities? That's got, that's got to be a joke. It's got to be a joke. How how the hell can one disloyal guy have so much freaking power base with no armies under his command and then invoke civil war, which then takes all of my goddamn, or both of my cities, apart from Thebe, the other two, how is it possible? That's what I would like to know. Uh, but anyway, let's, um, I don't, I don't know how this is possible. Um, so I'm going to have to put some new positions in now. So I'm going to put, uh... Do I have any researchers? I need researchers. So I need an oratory researcher. I'll put on a Macos, on a Marchos. 
For the religious one, I'll put Kalinestra Toclid. Then I'll put Anuda Dukos, which is you. And then I don't have any more positions available to give to people. Yeah, we have no more positions, which is fantastic. I'm not going to need to call my allies in, so... Just a civil water fire. Like that, that's just insane. Um, at least, um, here the fort should take this back. Yeah, the fort's going to take them back, so I'm going to go over here and try and siege that fort down. Um, influence of the Falede family. So, the fate of the Republic and that of the Falede family is and always will be intertwined. It is therefore a matter of great urgency that there are currently not enough Falede persons of quality ready to shoulder the responsibilities of the state. Who do I accept? I'm not accepting you. You're the revolt guy. I'm going to accept the general. Stratonikos. You can join. You can join, you can join. Um, okay, so let's go and quickly siege everything back here. Uh, Minister of Excellence, anti al Kidas Alexarchid, in a fine display of financial acumen, has made a significant alteration to the national budget. So we can either take plus 10% national tax to 512, or we can take the longer one because we're crafty for 514. Let's take that four years. Alright, let's go and solve this rebellion. Okay, no longer importing olives, we know. This is all under control of the Athenian revolt. This is now under control of me. This is a right pain. Right, let's up the speed here. We'll take all this back. Uh, March of Time, our Archon gained gout, which is not really cool. This is the very first, um, how to put it, the very first civil war that I've ever had fire. I've always managed to control civil wars, and this is the very first one that's actually gone. Easy to want iron, no problem. Once we take these forks back, the civil, the civil war should be finished. I mean, yeah, there's, there's nothing these guys can really do. Okay, the Siege of Argos has been won. We're going to take all this back. Is that part of us? Yeah, it's going to take all this back on its own. That's fine as well. We'll take that back. Let's just go and take back all this stuff from the Athenian Revolt. We'll go and kill you. Let's quickly finish you guys off. Um, stability increased due to our last action. I don't know what happened. Uh, but we are victorious. Maybe because it's the end of the Civil War. Yeah, that's why. It's the end of the Civil War, so our stability increased. Which is good. At least we stop that. Anyway, at long last, the brutal struggle with our, own, with our own nation has come to a close. The remains of the armies, once commanded by Aristogaton, Stratoclid, lie broken and demoralised, awaiting our judgement. Aristog Aristogaton himself has been cast in irons and will decide how we shall punish him and his co-conspirators for their transgressions against the people of Athens. Treason demands punishment, will let the soldiers live, I gain stability and 3,000 extra manpower. Or I gain loyalty for characters for quite a, long, quite a while. Now I'm going to take the manpower here. We'll let the soldiers live. Treason demands punishment. We'll let the soldiers live. It fills up our manpower reserves, so we'll take that. Um, autonomy. The industrious folk of Thebes have excelled themselves by contributing their own personal funds to develop the fine city. I get a free granary, a foundry, or gold. Gold. Gold, 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 gold. Um, okay, let's move you guys back here then. And we'll move you fellas back here. At least for now we've got grips to our well, got to grips with our country now so no fucking more civil war um, let's get an academy here now our building's up to the max i think tech wise we're at 205 percent which is pretty damn cool i must say i would like to go for the siege engineers plus one here got a couple of scorned families we'll put them back i have no characters left now wow wow we like have no one the Civil War has got rid of all of our characters. That's insane. We have no people left to govern. And how does this work then? How does this work? I have nobody. I have absolutely nobody. So we're going to need to invite people in, aren't we? Um... Okay, 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 okay. Well, let's put a Pythanis. Put you. Strategos, no, you're crap. Aeropagus as well. And let's do some import routes here. I'd like to see if I could get some stuff. I don't have any gold, though, so that was my bad. Um, can we befriend anybody? Or can we just bring anybody in? Because I need more characters, desperately. Wow. 
Talk about, like, a civil war destroying your character pool. So he's only got good people here. You're young. Nobody really decent there. What about in Macedon? Let's have a look what we can do. General, Governor, you're pretty good and pretty young. You're not very loyal as well. Let's try and befriend you. See if we can actually befriend you. And hopefully now we'll pay money out of the Archon's pocket and not out of the state funds, which would be nice. Talk about running out of characters. This is insane. I didn't know we could run out of characters that quickly. Yeah, no, sorry, I can't do that as well because you have no money to do that. It's the state again. No, I'm not paying. The state's not paying. The state can't afford it. Um, let's export wine from Arcadia. No problem to Rome. Get our army, a reduction in army maintenance cost. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try it with him because we didn't pay any money to him before. So a poor harvest. This is a really bad, annoying event. So we lose a bit more popularity. I don't want to gain any corruption. So that's not gonna happen. I'll put you guys on drill, by the way. We'll do with another import route. What can we get? I already have papyrus. Do I have earthenware? I, keep, I actually keep closing it. I should just move it like that. I mean, people keep telling me in the comments to move your screen over. It's just an old habit that dies hard. Um, what do I want? What do I want? Leather. Probably for some slave output. Olives. Do I have olives? What would the surplus do? National slave happiness. Let's get some leather. I know I already have leather. What would the surplus do? Uh, light infantry defence, don't need that. Local freeman output with base medals would be cool. Might get that, actually. Yeah, let's get base medals to get some local freeman output. We'll have some of that. That's always good to have. Make, what, 4.85 now? Um, what we need to do, yeah, is now... Um, how to put it? We need to get more characters in the realm. So I need money, first of all. Oh, we have an extra tech, which is pretty cool. What's the next level, by the way? Military tech, quite close. Well, quite close. Goes up really quickly. 517. Six years, that's all it's going to take. Wow. We're at level 8 military tech. What am I asked on that? Level 4. So we've doubled, we've like double, doubled the military tech on them. Which is good, which is going to be a significant advantage when we do fight. We we'll make a fair amount of cash here. We're going to need to invite more characters. I mean, let's look, if we look at our kind of character pool. And if I just don't take, do this. I mean, look, we have no characters. We have a lot of children, though. Surely to God, some of them are going to be like, come of age at some point. Let's look at the age. I mean, we've got a few here that are... We've got a few that are relatively young. I know that's Macedon. I'm not even in the right one. Jesus. We have nobody. It's like we have nobody in the realm. There's got to be an event where we get some more people because, yeah, it's just crazy. I mean, there's no way we could do that. 222%. Wow. I mean, there's no way we can maintain this. It's like crazy. We don't even have any good people. I'll put you as a physician. And I need two good generals. One, I'll put one as a stratego. So I'll just put, I mean, look the crap. I mean, it's like not going to work. Who's got better military stats? You're pretty good. Does anyone have any zeal? No, nope. crap zeal. What about you? No, no. Yeah, we have nobody. So this is going to be now a really tricky thing, is trying to get enough people to actually be competent in state affairs. Oh, well. Uh, what I would like to do, though, now is increase the size of the army. Definitely. We have a bit of manpower. I want some more men. Just so we can be a bit more competent, I would like... Two extra heavy infantry. Definitely want two extra heavy infantry. Get another one at the end of the month. A granary fire. Okay, so trust trust us to actually build men and then have a shit event, which like, kind of reduces the food. Um, provincial food capacity and local food modifier. What is our food like? Modifier is fine. Yeah, sure. It. We'll take the hit. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, I, I could take the hit anyway. There's more than enough. More than enough, more than enough to go around. Um, let's get another heavy infantry unit. Now, I'd like to get maybe one more um, light cab unit on the side. Which would be cool. 
At least now we have more heavy infantry. By the way, have they fixed the... Oh, they have. That's cool. So they have fixed it. So I want heavy infantry first. Archers second, then first. I want heavy infantry to do the shot. They're going to hit first and hit hard. Okay, because I think the like, the last episode of the one before, what happened, I could not select um, the heavy infantry there. It was really weird. It disappeared, so I didn't really know what went on. Um, I've got another check now. Let's see what we can get. Squadrons, heavy infantry. Damn, I should have waited, shouldn't I? Should have waited for the heavy infantry cost. I could have saved a bit of cash, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to get the national tax next and the pop migration speed, so we'll do all that. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Um, in What I'll do off camera is I'm going to see if we can find any people to invite or see if we can get any more characters or find a way at least, because we have no people left. Um, so we'll figure that out, and um, what we'll do in the next episode, we'll keep building, keep getting some more techs, some more men, get our manpower up, and when we get the manpower back up to the max, I think we could try and do a war against Macedon. We could bring Rome into the fray. I'm pretty sure they would help us, and I think with our tech advantage over Macedon, if we can get like another two tech levels before they do, I think we could be golden. We could definitely do something. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me, fellas. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below, and if you want to see more great Imperator content, also consider subscribing to the channel. And with that said, thanks again for joining me, and hopefully I will catch you all in the next one. Later, people.